This is a quick video on how I've used eInstructions CPS system with ExamView and then with NetTracker. So here's an example of the ExamView test manager. And we're going to go ahead and give the test through ExamView using the CPS response pads. So when I start this, now the student response pads will show that they're on question one. These are with the RF response pads. And clickers four and five, which in this case are Magic Johnson and, or I guess five and six, Wayne Gretzky. And they're going to go ahead and take their test. So they're just answering a few of the questions. And you can see that Wayne has two correct. Magic now has one correct. So we're collecting the data in a different way. Ending the test and then looking at the results. Now, because I've done this before, it's asking me if I want to replace the data, which I am. And now I've got the information for those two students. Next, I'll go to the Reports tab and choose the Remediation Summary. You've got the correct assignment there. Click OK. And here's our Remediation Summary. But the part we're going to focus on here are the keywords because these are tied into the NetTracker website. So now, if I click on Parallelogram, I'm going to be given a variety of resources that I can use to instruct my students or give me some more resources as a teacher on how I might explain parallelograms. That one was a good one for definitions, but it didn't have any activities. So here I'm going to click on one in Hot Math that has several activities that I can use. So we can now ask the students to do some sort of hands-on responses and look at the solutions together. So I think for teachers, what this gives is a, just a variety of different kinds of lessons that will explain a concept differently and hopefully allow students to predict, explore, and then, of course, learn the information. So NetTracker is a subscription-based tool for the internet or that just pulls websites together for teachers that are safe, um, that are practical, and that are organized by keywords and concepts. ExamView then connects their learning objectives with different NetTracker websites through that keyword function. and just puts things in front of teachers that they may not be able to otherwise find or search for. And then the e-instruction part of it is that you can deliver any kind of exam view test using the CPS response paths. Now we can go and find another keyword check out what NetTracker websites come up for symmetry. You can also see that there are some key icons that let us see if there are learning games or activities, pictures and illustrations. I like learning exercises. I think possibly that seeing the information presented in a different way will help students and teachers achieve success.